Hi, sweethearts. Welcome back to my channel. It's Tara. So, yesterday was Saturday, and I posted my haul video. Well, I realized, because I shot the video um, when I got back on Monday, and I was trying to hurry because Courtney was going to come back home. He was running errands, if you remember, if you watched it. And I forgot a couple of things. So I wanted to show you guys these really quick. Um, all of these represent, okay, on these pages, this is like three of them here. Um, but all of these represent new stamps that I found in the thrift stores up in Flagstaff. And I had I put them on here so you guys could see them, but also so I could test them to make sure that they worked. And they do. All of them worked. Um, these two are separate ones. I got 30 stamps, you guys. I got me some Christmassy stamps. <laughs> Look at that. I got some vintage, some edgers, you know, some belly, some butterflies. And then check this out. That's not all. <laughs> There's more. I got a peacock. <laughs> this is a really cute wreath. But I got all these stamps. These are three different brackets right here that are on. It's three separate uh, clear stamps. And um, here's a Christmassy one. But yeah, and they all, and this one works fine. It's just this edge I didn't push hard enough. But um, they were all under $20. I mean, I got some of them. Um, this one was on the other page too, but I wanted this page for here this stamp and it's like a double stamp that has this this break in the middle for Christmas of course or for winter you know look at my hands I'm sorry they look horrible I've been echo dying and oh my goodness <laughs> anyway and you know me I didn't wear gloves um here is just I was playing with some of those wine corks and as you can see you can make some really fun um designs with those so those are the stamps and then also I forgot to show you that I got this to work with alcohol ink which is why we're going to do a video with alcohol ink for real not just like dipping paper in it but we're going to actually use it like it's supposed to be used and but I first I have to show you guys this because I'm so excited about these and they work so good. Um, I did echo dying with the, I couldn't believe it, how good they came out. This was with the leaves and stuff that I got from Flagstaff. And then I also, I had to buy a little bouquet of cheap flowers at Walmart and I used those as well. And on some of the pages you're going to see like flowers. And then there's like, let's see, there's like these smaller pieces where I just took flowers and sprinkled the petals all over the page. But, um, and then here's how it looks on the back. So, yeah, these turned out, I couldn't believe how good they turned out. I was so excited. This is the first time that I've ever tried to do this, and I'm hooked. I don't know about any of you who, who do this or who haven't tried it yet, but if you haven't, look at that flower. If you haven't tried it, go for it. Oh my gosh, it is so rewarding. Look at the back. I mean, they're just, it's just beautiful leaves everywhere and grasses and uh, just so pretty let me know this is actually a printout of one of them um, look at that the flowers I don't know I just I literally fell in love with this wonderful wonderful process I hope you guys like them. I, I just had to show them to somebody. I showed them to Cordy. And he, of course, is a landscaper. And I told him, can you start bringing me your cutoffs? Because I don't have really any good floor. Look how dark and rich this is. And then on the back, it's this amazing print. You know. And I did this on matte photo paper. So you know. Um, matte photo paper makes everything look better than it really does. I mean, than it really would otherwise. But yeah, here's some more of the flower print. I got some blue in this one. I'm not really sure how. 
This was my second batch, and I thought it wasn't going to turn out as good, and it turned out even darker and more distinct than the first batch. So, yeah. Because I was kind of using, here's a flower right here. I was kind of using the last of everything that I had in there. And, uh, and then this is from the first batch. This one here is, you can see the yellows and it's got the, the blues. I don't know if you can really tell that that's like a blue, but it's kind of funny because I had no blue in my stack of flowers or leaves. There was nothing blue. So nature has a way of just doing its own thing. The yellows, again, the blues, a little bit of greens. Look at that. Just so perfect. I'm excited. I think, oh, look at this green one here. I think I'm going to um, try to get these. I, I think it's my printer. I, I scanned a couple of them yesterday, and I couldn't quite get them to print out the way they actually look. I think it's my printer acting up again because I haven't used it in a few days and it tends to dry out and not print things correctly when I when I do that. Um, now this is on regular um, thicker copy paper. As you can see it's still they still came out. Look at the yellow flower petals you can see. Just I was just amazed. I couldn't believe that I got this kind of a result. Now this was with a thicker copy paper, like a 30, 29, 30, 30 pounds, something like that. But anyway, that's my Echo Prints. Um, hopefully, I'm going to get them in the shop here soon. I'm going to get that worked out, and uh, they'll be available to you guys. But today, I want to play with some alcohol ink and my new puffer tool, and I'll show you what I've done this morning. These were the first two I did. Now, I used... Um, I didn't use the, sh the glossy matte or the glossy um, photo paper. I went ahead and used the um, I went ahead and used the matte and, and I make sure you guys can see. Look at how just I don't know dreamy and cloudy they look and just really blended, you know and, and they're almost like this paper almost is like a suede. Gosh, my hands look really bad up close. I'm so sorry. Um, they're almost like a suede, okay? And then I went ahead and did a couple more that were for more um, harvesty, because like I told you in the video the other day, I am going to do some, a Thanksgiving journal, and I wanted to do some backgrounds that would kind of blend more, and I love this one. So we're probably gonna do some more of this type too, so. Okay, so I just pulled out my inks that are more um, Thanksgiving harvest colored inks. I didn't, I didn't really want to do a bunch of bright stuff right now, because to be honest, that will just distract me away from working with. I'm trying to wipe my hands off, which is just a joke. It's, it's because I have dry skin and the ink and everything else, my dyeing of the papers and all that. It just gets into my. Um, pores like into the cracks of my skin and I can't I can't get it out so anyway um <clears throat> hopefully you're not worried about that because it'll come off in a couple days but I am going to do more geared toward harvest and um, Thanksgiving stuff because I want to use them as backgrounds for journal cards and maybe some tags I've got another piece over here I've cut down one piece I cut into six small pieces for journal cards and then um, the other I'm gonna do some probably some tags so here we go all you're gonna need is your alcohol ink and in whatever color combos you want um, your alcohol 90% or 90 yeah 91% um, I am like I said using the matte photo paper I really like the result I'm getting with that I also have the glossy but I don't really want to use that right now you can use um, you can try to use regular paper alcohol ink does not work as well on regular you know porous paper but we have proven like when we did our book you know our book pages that it can work so you know 
If you just have regular paper, then just go for it. Um, it may not look exactly like mine, but it's going to give you a nice background either way, you know. So I'm going to go ahead, and if you've never worked with them, I haven't worked with them a ton, but I have worked with them enough, you know, to kind of know what I'm doing. You might want to wear some ventilation if it bothers, if that alcohol bothers you. I don't, just because it's like wearing gloves. I'm, I'm horrible. Um, anyway, but I want to do some more with that dark green. So I just kind of scattered it around here and I am going to go ahead and now the first one I mixed and it, it went too muddy for me so this time I'm lightly blowing it with this thing because I kind of want to contain and control if you don't you know if you want to move faster with it you can and move, push it harder around the page it's up to you okay and I'm going to take some of the dark red like I did in the other one because I really I like the combination of those colors together and I'm going to go ahead and get that spread out a little bit. Bring some more ink or some more alcohol on it just a little bit because it's starting to dry. Do some brown. Okay. I want the colors to blend, but I also want them to be distinct from one another in in areas. You know what I'm saying? So I want the blend, but I like the distinction as well. I don't want it to be muddy, so that's why I'm kind of just going slow with my, I don't even know what this thing's called. It's Tim Holtz. It's an air blower. My husband said it looked like a giant children's uh, little snot sucker. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you clean your baby's nose out he's right it does um, but yeah so but that's what I'm using I had been wanting to get one of these and I, when I went up to Flagstaff I found this one um, down here they are like 12 12 dollars 12 99 something like that um, up in Flagstaff there were certain things that were cheaper I'm not really sure why but same thing you know same brand everything but just sold a little bit cheaper like the inks were a dollar or two dollars cheaper, but they weren't on sale like they are down here. I will say that. Um, our sales are better, I think, uh, for some reason, for whatever reason. Um, yeah. But I did get this, and I like it because I've wanted one for a while now. Before, I didn't ever do my alcohol inks with you guys this way because I was using a straw and I didn't want to have to keep going <sighs> every, every few seconds. <laughs> now I'm going to bring in some gold like I did the last one. Just drop it in. I like a lot of gold, as you know, and I really like a lot of gold with my alcohol ink. I actually need to buy a new one because I'm almost out. But I love to get that beautiful, I could probably even use mica spray after this dries and kind of really get more of it spread around. But I like those deeper lines. Now if it goes off of the page and it's within your uh, ink or your alcohol, you can actually, you know, if, if you can, get it to go, you can get it to go back up onto the paper. Okay. Now, I've seen some people who use, like, their hot air gun or hot hot heat tool, you know, to dry it. I'm just kind of letting it dry naturally because alcohol, it will, de you know, evaporate. So I just, I like to control the where the gold goes as it's drying because as soon as it's dry, it's, it's pretty set, that gold. Um, so I'm kind of breaking it up and trying to get it all over the page, the card. This of course will be a background card so it's going to see how it'll blow back up on there for you if it goes off the page as long as it's still on a spot where there's alcohol and it'll move because the alcohol makes it move like that. 
I don't like to waste the gold if at all possible. And I probably need a flatter surface. I'm just using a paper plate, as you guys can tell. Um, I didn't get fancy. and I, I have other surfaces I could use, but this is just quick and easy for me. I didn't have to pull anything out, you know. And I'm being lazy today, to be honest, because it's, it's what, Wednesday? Yeah. Um, my trip wore me out. I'm, I'm so tired. Honestly, <laughs> I'm worn out. I haven't slept right since I got back. I didn't sleep that great while I was there because you know me, I get up so early in the morning. But I'm having trouble on my, with my, my uh, mattress on my bed and my pillow. And um, I'm having a lot of back aches and a lot of neck and shoulder pain. And so I'm not sleeping really good. Uh, yeah, so I'm tired. <laughs> Forgive me if I, I seem a little bit off today. I haven't even, yesterday, it was Tuesday, the day, I, you know, he went back to work. And I got to tell you guys, I just sat around. I even read yesterday. I was like, I kind of organized things. I did do the echo dying. I shouldn't say I sat around totally because I did the echo. This this was done yesterday. Um, but I didn't even attempt to do a video. I didn't think I could even talk. I was so worn out. And by the by, like late morning when I got the echo dying all finished, I just sat on the couch and ended up reading a book. I know that's and that's not like me. I mean, that's like the old me before I discovered that I love junk journaling. <laughs> But yeah, that's not like me to sit on the couch and read a book. So there's the first one. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? And I'm trying not to move it too much. I like where everything is is sitting. I kind of want to break that up a little bit if I can. without. So I'm just barely tapping this, pushing air onto it. If you guys have not done this, that's... I mean, there are tons of wonderful artists and videos out there. I think this is so much fun and I, I don't claim any fame of being a professional at it or anything but I've gotten better at it than I was when I started so if, if you find that you don't really like your designs when you first start don't give up because you'll get used to working with it and now that I've got this and not a straw blowing air out of it you know it's making it really cool check out the oxidation on there it looks really neat but I just love the matte um, I love the way the mat is drying. I think that looks so fun. Let me see here. I'm looking for There we go. I found them. I'm going to just take my little tweezers and pick this up on the edge. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and set it over here to the side and let it dry by itself. And uh, I'll pull that back in and you can see it when I'm done. And I'm going to take a uh, just a wet wipe and wipe this off. Oh, that's becoming pretty cool design right there. Okay. And I'm going to bring in another card. Now I have a few speckles where I splashed, but I'm not going to worry about that. And this one I'm going to do uh, with some orange and I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what we do. Okay. Let's just play. Let's just play got some yellow, oopsie, I dropped it. <laughs> now I have more ink on me. <laughs> we have some yellow ochre. That's very uh, harvesty. Let's spread that out a little bit before it has a chance to think for itself and just make puddles. And you can move your plate around and kind of, you know, see how it's kind of clouding around the page. So, like, okay, wait, let's get some yellow, ye yellow ochre all over this card first, and then, and then I'll build on top of that. How's that? Let's try that. Okay, so let's get it kind of spread around as much as possible. All right, um, and I'm gonna use the dark green on this part. And then I'm going to go ahead and jump on that before it has a chance to settle down and decide it's going to stay where I don't want it. Look at those. Isn't that cool? I love the, the different designs it'll make for you. And you really 
you know, you can't totally control it 100%, but you do have a lot of control with this tool. I'm going to say that. That is a nice, um, that's a nice aspect of this tool. I, I, I had hesitated to buy it. I was like, oh, you know, do I really need it? Is it just kind of a gimmick? But I am seeing where it comes in handy. And I did try to purchase, just in case anybody's thinking about it, I did try to purchase a smaller version in the store of the baby kind that's like two bucks at Walmart. I gotta tell you, it didn't work. It didn't blow out enough air. Um, it did not work. If you're gonna, if, I mean, if you can make, find one that'll work for you, great. I could not, <laughs> so I'm just, I'm putting it out there in case you're wanting to save money like I was, because um, I do try to save money as much as possible with as many things as there are to get for what we do. Uh, you know, you got to try and save money where you can. And so I thought, oh, you know, I'll just go ahead and get one of the mini ones. It's not going to bother me, but it it would have been fine if it actually worked. But it really, it honestly didn't blow out enough air to give you the effect, to give you any effect, actually. That's when I started using the straw because that, that at least... I had some, you know, a little bit of control over that. I'm going to put some gold on here, of course. I really want the gold. I've got to buy another one, like I said. <laughs> I'm totally almost out. It's down to, well, not out, but I'm down to like a third of the bottle is left. Now, I'm going to blow this back up there onto the paper, like I said, before it dries, and I can't. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see the gold, that how it's, it's not just building in puddles. The puddles are awesome, and I love them. But it's also spreading it so that it kind of has like a gold dust throughout the piece, okay? And that's the other reason I'm moving it around a lot is to give it that effect where you can see, which I'm going to grab something super quick here. I moved all my stuff down to the bottom drawer, but I want to try something. I have not tried this. This is mica powder. Okay. That's the gold mica powder. Ooh. Okay. I'm standing up so I can kind of see where everything's going. That mica powder kind of seemed to cause the gold to, you know, like like explode onto the page all over the place. That was funny. So I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to try. Actually, we should pull in while this is doing its little thing here. I'll let it dry right here, and I'm going to pull this in really quick. See how it's got like the gold, okay? But around this edge, there's not as much. So I am gonna give it a little shot with the mica just to see what it does. Oh, it's like little bubbles of gold. Can you see that? Interesting. So I'll let that dry. Now I want to try that. This doesn't have any gold on it at all. I want to see. So against the alcohol ink, I'm sure Tim Holtz could tell me why. Uh, it's instead of the mica having that sprayed out. It's got. It's like it's. Um, yeah, it's like it's not bubbling. I don't want to say bubbling, but it's causing like puddles, like little puddles on top of the alcohol ink. It still looks really cool. But yeah, so that's what we're getting with that. Okay. Let's pull this little guy back in. Ooh, that moved off all the way off the page while I was playing. It must have been leaning. There we go. Got it back on though. I have to pause for one second, guys. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Um, 
Okay, so here we have that one we've been doing. Oops, I flipped that. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this up and take it over here to the side and let it sit and chill out by itself for a minute. I just want to spray that gold just a little bit more. I can still move it. I like to get the gold like in the right, this perfect position so when it dries it's like set in the right you know layout. Let's see. So there's the one I sprayed with the mica and it's oh the mica is like moving now and spreading out which is kind of weird from the piles like now I can touch it and it's dry but it's yeah so it like went from being bubbly to what it normally does so yeah interesting very interesting so I'm going to do the same with this one because I just really wanted the gold flex you know to like to spread all over and now that's got them all over as you can see the bubbles are gone. Of course, it's all over my hands. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and so next, let's see here. What I was planning on doing is making a few of these. And then um, I was going to decorate one with you guys. That will go into our Thanksgiving journal. So let's see, we got two more sheets over here. Let's look. I'm going to do just red and brown. I'm not going to put any green on this one and some gold and see how that looks. I like the darker, you know, I, I don't know if I've ever told you guys that actually. I started to say, you know me, and then I realized I don't know that I've ever said that. I have a tendency to lean toward very dark colors are uh, like backgrounds um, very deep uh, color schemes I, I don't know that I've ever said that um, in making my digi kits I'm having I'm having to struggle keeping them lighter because my eyes I don't know just how I perceive and love the colors I love dark dark colors and uh, yeah so it's kind of been a little bit of a challenge for me to stay uh, at a lighter mode. If you guys saw my uh, scripture scraps, the little snippet scraps, um, they have a lot of dark colors in them. And I had to even go back in because when I printed them out to test them and see if they printed okay, they were printing out too dark. And I was like, oh man, shoot. So I had to go back in and change quite a few of the backgrounds because you couldn't really read, the writing wasn't coming across correctly, you know? And so yeah, I had to change that. Now this red and brown are kind of blending too much. Let me see if I can. I think it'll look okay once it dries though. If I can just get some separation here. I know I've seen some people do this on a spinner. Um, I've seen people use plates. Uh, you know, I I don't know. I just didn't want to get too complicated today because, like I said, because I'm tired. <laughs> I'll be honest. And I just I wanted to, but I wanted to make some cards, and I didn't want to do it without you guys. So I just decided to turn the camera on and bring y'all along and make this our craft with me Sunday video. Um, hope y'all don't mind that it's not super exciting and hopefully you'll like the idea and you'll try it yourself. Um, if you have, if you have any alcohol ink, I mean, don't, don't run out and buy anything if you just, you know, if you can't afford it. You know, I had to wait. Um, I saw Tina work a lot with her alcohol inks and 
I wanted to try them so bad, but I, I waited because they were 20 some dollars. I'll, I have posted these in that book video, but I will post a link for the alcohol ink and I'll try to remember to post a link for this, for the tool and even the matte paper. Uh, I got that on Amazon. I'm pretty sure they sell this on Amazon as well. Um, but even though I got mine at Hobby Lobby. But yeah, I um, I waited, you know. I, I don't want you guys to, f when I do something with new stuff like this, I don't want you to feel like you got to run out and buy it. Of course, I'm not discouraging you. Of course, if you want to go out and buy it, you can. But I also don't <laughs> want anyone to ever feel, you know, like I'm doing projects that they can't participate in. I, that's not my goal. You guys know what I mean, right? I get, I get to where I'm trying to explain myself and it starts to, I start to go in circles and I know you guys understand what I'm saying. My heart is for you guys not to spend a bunch of money, okay? But also to have fun. I know one of you um, had told me you were gonna uh, you were gonna use watercolors, and we're gonna do that watercolor background thing. You know, just playing. Just that's how I ended up with that one background that was so pretty. I was just playing. I I I was not trying to do anything great, you know. But I ended up with this beautiful purple blue night sky kind of background, and I loved it. And so yeah, that's what we're going to do here pretty soon too is with watercolors okay. alright I think that one's moved around about as much as I can get it I was trying to get some of this gold to be over in this side too because I've got a lot everywhere else but this corner doesn't have a ton I think I'll just add one more drop and then one more drop over here. And that way, okay, yeah. There we go, that's a little better. Stay there. Okay. So let's see, today is Sunday, so if you went to church, how was church? Um, did you hang out with the family? Did you go shopping? Did you go out to eat? Did you get to craft today? Did you have to work? What was your day like? Let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear about your day. I just love hearing from you guys. When I was on vacation, I was, I was trying so hard to make sure that I commented back, you know? But I also wanted to give um, my time to my husband. And so that's why I like, one time I sat up, I, I ended up waking up at like 1 a.m. Could not sleep, you guys. And so he had told me the night before, because the night before I had woke up and I had laid in bed and just waited until he woke up because we're in a room and I can't just go down the hall like I do here at home and hang out, you know. And he said, honey, just do whatever you normally do. I'll just roll over and put in a headphone or something. Don't worry about me. And I said, okay. So on that was Thursday night when I, when I sat and waited for him to wake up. And so on Friday night, I woke up at like 1 a.m. And I, I could not sleep. So I sat in the chair and watched Tina while I responded to 20-some comments from you guys. And I was like, oh, my gosh, because I hadn't, I hadn't responded back for, you know, since... Wednesday or Thursday when I left and yeah so I was like okay and then I let him build up again and and responded um, to a lot of them on my way home from Flagstaff in the car because I was driving I was doing fussy cuts driving home too my husband was laughing at me he was looking at my honey over there fussy cutting away and I, I was I was just cutting and cutting you know what I had done? I had printed a huge folder full of stuff to fussy cut while I was up there because I just figured, you know, that way at least I'm prepared. If I have time to do it, I do. If I don't, I don't. But at least I was ready for it. Yeah, so <laughs> I went ahead and, and just did these these fussy cuts, but I re on the way home from Flagstaff, I cut out a bunch more 
of the strips from Lena's shop and I love those strips so much as little backdrops for like collaging they're very fun so yeah I did a huge it's these guys let's see here I have them right here yeah this one here it's all those little those little pieces I showed you guys that I and I I read I cut out a whole new batch from the same kit because I've used that many of them in the past what week yeah so I really like them so there's that one now that's the red with the brown I think it turned out pretty cool I like it and I'm gonna do one more what time is it let's check our timer okay I'll do one I'll do this last one and then we will go ahead and um, you know what? Wait. We'll go ahead and decorate one of these pretty babies. Let's see what we can do with that. Okay. All right. I'm gonna do. Hmm. I'm gonna do some orange. Where's my orange? Here we go. I'm thinking orange and green with, of course, a hint of gold. Now, I think this is why I saw this one girl using like a, a wheel where it spins real slow for her and she can turn it. She said you can even use like a Lazy Susan. If you guys have a Lazy Susan, that'll be um, a really cool way to just have it turn slowly as you you know you can control it and um, yeah it gives you a really cool effect as you go around and it evenly helps you to evenly distribute you know and get it moved onto the paper pumpkin or green and orange. Okay, a little more of this green. I like it. I like it. You guys it's so funny. I, I think I've told you before that I never really enjoyed green all that much. And except for outside in nature. You know, I love it in nature of course. But as far as like wearing it or working with it, green was never my choice of color. And then I started watching Tina and she was always making this big deal about green. And the more I watched it and watched her work with it, the more pretty I saw it. Then in spring, I made a, a springtime journal and ended up using a lot of green and just, I have found myself now, I am looking at green. I actually bought myself a green sweatshirt with green pants and I bought a green flannel with black and I'm like oh my gosh I'm wearing green now. <laughs> okay I have hazel eyes so I look good in greens and like purples and stuff my eyes are a green brown hazel um, so yeah I've always been told oh you should wear more green and I'm like no I don't really like green and now I'm all oh I love green <laughs> that's so funny our, our our tastes change so much as we get older you know what I mean it's funny how that happens to us and I mean blue is still my favorite color but I do think that partially why I was I was always more drawn to blue is because it was my daddy's favorite color and I always loved black my mom loved black okay she always wore a lot of black um, and so I was drawn to black and blue and so, yeah, I, of course, I was being like my parents. Now that I'm getting older, I'm starting to realize that I see beauty in, like, every color and every shade of those colors, you know? And I think a lot of it's due to working with junk journals and starting to really appreciate, you know, the various shades of nature and the various shades of, of life. Yeah. So, 
Like this is totally not my thing as far as like if, if we're talking about my thing. Um, but it's become more and more something I love. This was always more my thing. <laughs> like the bright pink and blue and purple. And, yeah. So it's kind of cool. I like that I'm maturing and that I'm enjoying all of God's creation and not just, you know, all the colors he created and not just part of it. You know what I mean? I'm sure that there are those of you who know exactly what I mean. Because as you get older, your taste buds change. You start to like foods you didn't like before. Um, you know, and it's just kind of the same thing with this. I'm finding that the older I'm getting, the more I'm enjoying, you know, various um, things in life that I just didn't enjoy before. So... I'm going to do something really quick. I'm curious to see. I'm going to let this go off to the side and dry by itself. But I'm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering why and what I did, because it's got to be something I'm doing differently. On the first one I made, these two, if you notice, there is no, look at, there's no patchiness on these. It's just flowing, beautiful colors. And this one, and in, on the others after that, I don't know if it's because I'm blowing on it too much. I bet there's somebody out there who knows how to do this better than me who could tell me the answer to this. Is it because of the gold that I added? Um, let me know what you think. Because this one started to do it too, and I put some more alcohol back on it, and they seem to have gone away again. I'm just curious what what I'm doing that caused that, because I know it's got to be what I'm doing. You know what I mean? It's not the ink, because all the alcohol ink is the same brand. It's all the same type, you know? So it's not something to do with that. I'm going to sit this over here to the side and let this one dry. And I just keep pushing that gold back up on there. Okay. All right, kiddos, let's decorate one. I was, I was thinking this one, that first one I did. And what I wanted to do was... Oh, that's something I bought that I haven't shown you guys. I just played with it on a sandwich bag. But I tried this because I was just dying to see what it would do. It's it's the same as the clear wax that I used with the mica powders. But it's antique and it's brown. And so I'm going to play with it and see. I mean, it didn't do anything great on this. I just spread it with my finger, let it dry, and then rubbed it to see if it would get shiny, which it did. But, um... I'm thinking about what I want to use it on. So, yeah. Okay, let me see. I'm trying to see a piece of thicker, more cardstock. Because this is pretty thin. I'm just walking right here to grab something. Hmm. Or not. I don't see any in there. I'll have to pull it from another box. looking for a piece of coffee dyed coffee dyed paper and I have to keep blowing this gold back onto this page here, sorry it keeps rolling off, we don't want that okay so I'm going to glue this to this piece here Yeah, I kind of thought that it'd be fun to have some of these really pretty backgrounds with, you know, our harvesty theme. And I truly am trying to keep myself in, oh man, in more of a harvest mood. <laughs> 
And that is why I'm, oh, dang it, look at that. Look at that, did you see that? It just rubbed right off. So I gotta, when you're doing it with glue, press, don't rub this ink. Okay, because it's gonna rub it off. And I'm gonna, I think I'll rub from this side. Now wait, it won't do that. Should have done that in the first place. But I didn't know, I had not um, had that happen before. So I'll just go ahead and trim that off on that side so you can't even see that it ever was like that. background. Okay. Look how creamy that paper is. It, it literally, you guys, it feels like suede. It really is such a nice feeling. Now I am going to round these off. I love that finished look on stuff. And with this, I don't, I was gonna say, am I gonna distress it at all? Um, I think just on the back and around these edges where the paper is technically white, that matte paper, you know. Um, maybe just a tiny bit up here and do the back and what do we want to put on here I don't have everything that I want to use in my Thanksgiving setup yet I need to get busy and print some stuff out and even go in and make some of my own real quick on Canva or something, you know, just to have kind of my own in there too. I don't want just, we're going to put one of our little peoples, I think. And when I left last week, I kind of just, oh, this is pretty. I kind of just threw everything Oh, it's too big, but look at it. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? Um, I kind of just threw everything in my bags. I didn't really organize a lot of stuff, which I should have. Um, and so I'm still reacquainting myself with my own stuff again. Because <laughs> I had to put everything in the other room away from the cats, for one thing. Um, that, you know changed here we go this bag is the one I was looking for we that changed a lot of what I was doing um or affected you know a lot of what I was doing I want to see if this works here I do use it, so that's why I did that. It's a little big, huh? I don't want to cover all of this. I want some of it to show. Let's go for something a little bit smaller. See if I can find anything in here. <laughs> Dang it. These are those little pumpkins and stuff. Okay. I 
am I in frame, you guys? Oh, and you know what? It's funny. I just about killed my phone again. We've got a plug in here. I'm going to move the phone a little bit. Sorry. There we go. Oh my goodness, I was down to 4%. So I need to hurry because I'm out of time. So I was thinking to put more something small, smallish here on this and not so huge. I don't I don't want a ton of this. I probably wouldn't use this except this is here, the pomegranate. And it actually matches. Well, let me see here. And then if I get one of our little people, our little paper dolls. Oh, and then I, <laughs> I didn't tell you guys, I broke, like, all of my fingernails, or a bunch of them, so I ended up cutting everything, and then last night, I had my one thumbnail I use all the time, this thumbnail, and it broke. It broke all the way to the quick. I was so upset, because it was the only one that I actually am like, I need that, I need my thumbnail, you know? <laughs> I was bummed. <laughs> Cordy was like, really? I go, yes. I'm so upset about my thumbnail. I was thinking how I want to do this. I'm really not. Do I have anybody that's like a farm couple or a children? Like, oh, well, these little guys are cute. Hmm. I don't want stuff that's too fancy. And she looks so lonely on there. Just one little baby girl. I was thinking if I could get a group, you know. Get you modern. I wonder if this little guy. Let me see. Just check in here if I put that one like that. I was thinking of putting this down as a pocket in front of the car, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm just going to sit that right there. Okay. And remember, press. Don't rub on that because it will rub your alcohol ink off, okay? Oh, this bottle's leaking. Shoot. That glue leaked all over my hand. <sighs> I got those new ones, and um, they can't always be trusted when you fill them up. And they go through, like, this leaking phase. I threw one of them. Not my new ones, but I threw my old one of my old ones that was doing that away. I was going to put him kind of leaning on... The little rabbit, like a little sign, almost. I'm over here putting glue on. Sorry, I was out of frame. Just rubbing the glue on the back of this little guy. Ah, oh, tea. Oh goodness! Told you I'm tired. <laughs> I'm all finger. I'm all thumbs, and now I can't pick stuff up because I don't have any fingernails. <laughs> you guys. Okay, yeah, that's good, right? Well, at least he didn't fall onto like the what you call it, um, the ink, so it didn't get on hit the ink part. Get him straight, so he looks like he's leaning there. There, 
Okay, and then I'm going to do like, let's see. If that camera's moving, I apologize. It's because the cord, I had to plug it in and the cord keeps bumping everything. I don't have it anchored like I usually do. There we go. I was looking here real quick. They have all these little, in this kit. Um, oh, there we go. This is cute. Free admission. I was thinking I would put that like at the top. Oh my gosh, I have got glue all over me. I am probably going to go take a nap after this. <laughs> I'm serious. And get some rest. I'm being way too clumsy. Even for me. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to clip the edge of that because So I ended up kind of covering up my background anyway, but that's okay. And then I'm going to use this again and just take off that corner so it matches up. Okay. And then I'm going to do a little bit of bling around the edge. This one didn't stick. There we go. Okay, so there's our guy. He's in the fall, he's going to the pumpkin patch. He's going to run into a rabbit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys had fun today and that you try these alcohol ink. Um, if, you, if you haven't, if you try them out and you like them, let me know. If you have and you have some really good hints and tips for me, let me know that too. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow for Mass Monday. God bless you. Bye.